Hi, I'm Kelly, the Crystal Ninja, and today I'm going to show you how to bling out this collapsible straw holder in a honeycomb fill pattern with our kit. Let's go over what's in the kit. So when you're on the site, you choose the color of the crystals that you want, and it's going to come with a 10 gross package of that color. In this kit, I've chosen light amethyst. So let's open up everything inside. You're going to get of course, the straw, the collapsible straw and holder, and it comes with a nice little carabiner to attach to your backpack or your purse. It will unscrew, sorry for the squeaking, and then inside will be the collapsible straw, and you can open that up just like this. Inside is also a, a cleaning uh, scrubby, and it's also collapsible and retractable to get um, everything nice and clean. Push that back in, and in it goes and you can screw that back on. It even has another uh, cap down here to unscrew, and that way you can, um, for the water draining while it's uh, drying or something. So that's your collapsible straw. And then you're gonna get your Tonto pickup tool. This is a very easy tool to use. The black side is the pickup side. It comes with a sharpener. As it dulls down, you can sharpen it. This is one of our fine tools from the Crystal Ninja team. Next, we have the glue, a very good multi-purpose glue, Fusion Tac. It's a non-toxic, multi-purpose um, glue that we love to use, water-based. Um, it's very forgiving, as in if you get too much glue, you can move things around or wipe them afterwards. We have a syringe inside and with a 20-gauge tip. The size tips, the smaller the number on a syringe, the larger the hole. Uh, this one's going to be a 20-gauge and then we have a three mil size syringe. Then you also get um, part of our little prep kit. You get a file. Uh, it's got a 180 grit. That's for sanding and prepping your surface. And then a nice little alcohol swab to clean everything off. And then we have the, um, the color that you choose, the light amethyst SS8. SS is stone size. And then we also have the millimeter conversion on the packaging here, and it comes with 1,440 approximate pieces or a 10 gross package. And so that's what's inside your kit. So next, let's see how it all works together. Let's get started. First, I want you guys to prep your item. We like to use um, emery boards or sanding files. Um, lightly sand your item off of your desk. You don't wanna get dust and debris onto your workstation. So move over off, off your desk, give that a nice sanding all the way around. And then once you've done all of that, we're gonna clean it with the rubbing alcohol. I've got a paper towel with rubbing alcohol, so I'm gonna lightly clean. All right, next, let's get the syringe prepared. Um, using the, the Fusion Tac, it's a white glue. It's going to dry clear. I like to hold the lid of a glue in my two fingers here. Sometimes there might be an air bubble uh, down at the bottom and it might kind of try to burp the glue out. So hold that lid and then place the glue into the syringe, the barrel. Give it a little squirt. You don't need to fill your syringe up the whole way. Now your lid is super close. Put it right back on and that's all we need. Notice how I'm filling the syringe on the horizon. I'm not filling it up and down. Um, if you were to have less viscous glue, it would fall down and close the opening of your syringe. You don't want that to happen. So fill your syringes on the horizon, not vertically. Um, add the plunger back in. That's gonna help force all the air out of your syringe. And now you can put your tip back on. We're using a 20 gauge tip. We have lots of sizes on the site for different glues, but this one works pretty good for this type of glue. And next, we've got your pickup tool. Today, we're gonna use the Tonto. Tonto's a, a super cute little name. Um, it's for, it's also named after a, um, a dagger that a ninja would use. So this is our very small uh, version of our crystal katana tool. Super easy to use. Let's sprinkle out a couple of these beautiful SS8 Kirakira glass rhinestones. And all you have to do is lightly touch the stone and then you can bring it to the glue on your item and then it will release. So it's a very simple tool, simple process. So let's get started. Okay, so the fill pattern that we're using today is what we refer to as honeycomb. What that is, 
is when all of these round flat back rhinestones fit into each other, they kind of nest into the next row, um, just like the uh, honeycomb in a beehive. So that's why we refer to it as the honeycomb pattern. Um, doing it on a round item is fun and it makes it look seamless. So we're gonna start with this um, seam here where it unscrews from the lid and you can unscrew it lightly. Just make sure you don't glue these two pieces together. So always kind of watch your seams on all of your items that you're working on and make sure you don't glue moving parts together because uh, that would not be very good. When using a syringe for gluing, um, I want you to have a lot of control to know how much glue comes out of this tip. Uh, the best way to do that is to hold the syringe in your fist. You want to put three fingers over the barrel, one over the plunger, and your thumb and your finger work together uh, to not press too hard to have too much material coming out of this tip, too much glue coming out. Um, if you were to hold the syringe like a nurse, which would be awesome, we love nurses, I married one, um, there's no control right here. Their object is to get all of that material out of that tip into the um, into the arm of the patient and there's zero control here so holding it in your fist like this or with your thumb you have zero control so try to hold it if you want more control with three fingers on the barrel one over the plunger and using your thumb and your finger as your control that way you can test out over on your napkin how much to press I'm barely pressing so get that control down to how much you need to press just like that. And we're going to start on the straw holder. Let's first add a little bit of glue to make our first row because the trick with the honeycomb pattern is that if the first row is not straight, the rest of them will not be straight either. So always do your first line as straight as possible. Make sure they're touching as close as possible. And you see how easy it is to pick up these stones with this Tonto pickup tool. It's very easy to use. And then I just turn with my other hand to go all the way around. And then you can if you're sometimes your glue is, is not quite sticky enough, you can kind of twist off using your tool. That way it kind of lets it go a little bit easier. And as you come around, make sure all of your stones are touching and they're super straight lined up right against this uh, seam. And it looks like I've got room for these last two. And it should fit just perfect all the way around. Just like that. So the next row needs to go right below this and then fit the next row of stones. We'll need to fit into these little offset spaces that the round stones make. And then this makes your honeycomb pattern. If this row looks a little bit crooked, it's because the first row was not straight. So that's the whole trick of everything is to get the first row super straight and then keep going around. Okay, so this has two rows on it. Everything fits in perfectly. So now all you have to do is just keep repeating till you get all the way to the bottom seam. Steadily going, at adding every row in should start looking like this. Let's add a little bit more glue to finish out this row. I'd like you to go all the way around with every row so that you make sure it connects every time and is super straight. If you start getting a little out of the line, it'll start showing up and you'll have weird little gaps. So keep checking to make sure every time you come around, it connects and it's perfectly straight. So as we get to the end here, you should have right at 35 different rows of the SS8 rhinestones. And let's add a little bit more glue to finish out this line. Be careful to, of course, not glue the seams. You can always check your parts and pieces while you work on them. Sometimes it's nice to unscrew that a little bit um, to make sure you don't glue those shut. Add the last three stones. 
And then we're gonna start this little cat part. Adding in the last few stones for this bottom cat piece. Still keeping the honeycomb pattern. Makes for a very seamless look. There's the last piece. And then now we can begin the top cap. I'm gonna let that dry for a little while and then we'll start on the top. That bottom part is done. I've let it dry for just a little bit. Notice how I left just a slight amount in order for that to be able to turn and not glue that seam. So now let's begin over here. I kind of un unscrew that part to make sure nothing is glued. And then I'll start uh, a line down here and then work my way all the way to the end. So let's do that part. When you start working on this end cap and then once you set your first row, go in and find all the little gaps to put in that next row. And if the first row is not straight, the second row will not be straight and so on and so on. So keep everything nice and straight. That's the key to using the honeycomb fill pattern. And then keep going. Let's finish up this last little row. Add the last bit of glue. Everything stayed super straight and flat onto the surface and it looks pretty seamless. So that was pretty good, pretty easy project. Adding just a little bit more glue, finishing up this last row of the Light Amethyst SS8 on this collapsible straw holder and inside is the straw. Nothing was glued shut. Keep checking all your seams on both parts. And there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to crystallize using the honeycomb method on a collapsible straw holder.